Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Lisa from Taylor and Max, which is a children's boutique here in Rockton, Illinois. How's it going, Lisa? Hi, Jake. It's going very well, thank you. Good. It's such a pleasure to have you here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank so, you. for those that don't know, tell me a little bit about Taylor Max. Taylor uh, Max. Sure, absolutely. Uh, Taylor and Max Children's Boutique. We are a lifestyle, a lifestyle boutique, and the store is actually named after two of my children, named Taylor, and the other is Max. And we specialize in sustainable and eco-friendly and also um, handmade goods that are made by artisans from around the world, in particular in, in Europe, but there are some awesome uh, designers and artisans in America that make great children um, clothing that we are discovering and we're gonna bring those brands into our into our shop as well. Nice, so uh, tell me like what is so, like why is sustainability so important, especially in fashion and kind of like what inspired you to form an entire boutique around that? Absolutely. What inspired me to form the entire boutique around sustainability and just great quality clothing are my children. When I had my children, I would just shop um, in, at, um, at my local big box stores. And I noticed that my children, they, their skin did not react to the clothing that I was putting on them. Uh, not only that, but my children would wear a onesie once. I would wash it, I would put it in the dryer, and thinking I had this really cute onesie to put back on my newborn son, I took it out of the dryer and it was three sizes too small. Yeah. I still remember that 15, and that happened to me 15, 15 years, 16 years ago. And I will never forget that. I will never forget the feeling. I will never forget standing right in front of that dryer thinking that this is, this is what I had washed to put on my child and it was too small. And I, I hated that feeling. It was very dull. It did not look fresh and it was two sizes too small. I couldn't wear it. He couldn't wear it anyway. Yeah. So what I did was I, I actually threw it away and I noticed that I, that he would, con that I would continue to buy and always buying and buying and buying. And he would only wear it one time because of the cycle the, of because the of clothing the cycle just falling of, apart. Thank you. Because yeah. of the cycle of shrinkage, the cycle of clothing falling apart and me not being able to use it. So then I began to read about, well, when I throw this away, what is happening? Where does the clothing go? And uh, to my dismay, I was very uh, saddened by the by the clothing that I was throwing away was ending up in landfills. Well, landfills, they are not set up to recycle and to set up textile. Right. In addition to that, the textiles were not organic. They were not made with natural materials such as cotton or merino wool. They were made by synthetics and sometimes uh, petroleum based sure. uh, product, which is that's harmful for a little baby. And that's harmful for, for children. Right. So I became saddened by that as well. So I, I seven, I had always wanted to own my own children's boutique. Uh, on the seventh year is when I actually um, uh, decided to take the leap of faith and to actually open the children's boutique. Super cool. Yes, and remembering where the clothing landed or ended up, then that is where the sustainability kind of came in as far as that end of sustainability. Sustainability is a very long conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anyone is interested in learning about sustainability, I'm very happy to, you know, to, to come down to the store, yeah. have it sit down with you and explain it to you and how we can all play a part in and keeping the world a, a better place and a safer place and leaving Mother Earth the way that the way that we left her. Yeah, and so now here we are, like here we are inside of Taylor and Max. So congratulations on Thank taking you. that leap of faith and and making your dream a reality. Let's go on a little tour so people can kind of get an idea of the shop. Okay, sure. And yeah, okay. and so I'll follow you. All so right, cool. You... So Taylor and Max Children's Boutique. We actually go from preemie so we do have some little bitty itty bitty uh, preemie sizes and we go up to size 14 for boys and we also go up size up to size 14 for girl as well and we also have sustainable and eco-friendly gift options for both boy and for both baby and also for girl so Very cool. if you look at this table here um 
we have some options as well. Um, this really, really cool and nice fluffy cardigan and is ideal for that baby who overheats and doesn't wear a coat. Just put on this sweater and baby is good to go. Nice. Um, it's it's uh, made from natural uh, material. Um, it's made in, or it's made in, uh, in Spain. Uh, and then we also have really, really cute little dolls here that are, that have been around, I believe since the 1920s. And uh, they smell like vanilla. And when children come in, they immediately gravitate towards <laughs> these the dolls. dolls. Yes. Don't worry. These are, these are just my displays. I have more dolls and they're also packaged. So everything, <laughs> is, everything is safe. Yep. Everything is safe here. Um, and... Also with Taylor and Max, we are also in the next few seasons, we are also getting more into, into moms, into pampering moms. Our moms have to stay healthy. Our moms have to, uh, our, the moms are the ones who are caring for the children. So we are having a line of bath and body products for mom. These make perfect and outstanding gifts for um for teachers mm -hmm. and also for a neighbor if you just wanted just a, a kind gesture to them these are very good these are all natural products they're handmade in very small batches in the city of chicago nice yeah and then behind you we have just the whole rest of the shop yeah so absolutely we, and yep absolutely toys and absolutely. the whole nine yards yeah. so and behind me this is this is our baby section this is where we um, we generally go up to size 24, uh, 24 for baby. Um, we also do have christening outfits uh, for, for baby uh, and for girl and for boy and blankets and keepsake and, and heirloom quality um, heirloom quality pieces. Very cool. That and both then... grandma loves and most mostly what mothers love because it's, it's <laughs> obviously the mother is the one who is dressing the child. Yeah, Usually absolutely. not grandma. So grandma, when you come in and you shop with Taylor and Max, your daughter-in-law <laughs> <laughs> will absolutely love your Taylor and Max find. Um, we personalize <laughs> cool. each visit and we personalize each visit, each visit by just doing a little simple interview, asking about you and asking about the mom. What does the mom like? What does the dad like? Uh, what does the mom do for a living? The dad do for a living? Sure. Only because we want to nail that perfect gift for you. Yeah, absolutely. And this is definitely a much different experience that I'm sure a lot of people are used to having when they do children's shopping at like a big box store, right? Uh, so, well, of yeah, course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And absolutely. just like it just kind of shows the importance of supporting small businesses because like you're not going to get this kind of shopping experience anywhere else. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's and that's one of the perfect things about and one of the great things about shopping with small businesses is we are able to foster a relationship with the community and also with the person or with our consumer or with the person who's actually buying from us. Um, and also that gives us a, a chance to know who you are so that we can grow with your family. Uh, most of my families, they come in when the mother is expecting. Yep. And they grow and I want those families to grow out of my clothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you can only do that when you actually have the ability to, of shopping with the small businesses and fostering that relationship and that partnership with that family. Very you know, cool. if, yeah. if you need something, you should be able to call me and say, hey, I'm going to this event. Can you put this together? Absolutely, I can. I already know you. I know what sizes you need. Yep. All thing I need to do is just look for the look for what you want, call you, and tell you to pick it up or ship it to you. Very cool. And so for those that are interested in learning more about Taylor and Max and checking out all the wonderful things you have to offer for their tiny human, like where can people go to learn more about you? Perfect. Well, we are we have a website, and the name of our website is just simply taylorandmax.com. We're super always, easy. Super simple. <laughs> we're, uh, we're available 24-7 online. You can also chat with us online um, during our business hours. Yeah. You can also go to our, our uh, Instagram page. Instagram is very simple, mm -hmm. at Taylor and Max. <laughs> very active there. You can send us a message just to say hi. I would love to meet my um, more, even more local moms in the Rockton, Roscoe, South Beloit, Beloit area. 
And you can also visit us on YouTube, Taylor and Max at Taylor and Max. And we're also on Facebook and we're also on Twitter as well. Super cool. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you for the tour. Thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. A uh, real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to highlight local businesses like Taylor and Max and give you cool tours of local businesses and shops all around the greater Rockford region and send you all sorts of positive news stories from the 815. So big thank you to them. And we will see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. <laughs>